Welcome to Unmasking Humanity 21 Questions with Joshua T. Berglund. Today we have a fascinating broadcast with Mr. Daniel Georgie from Harvest Earth Limited, which is one of the most cutting edge renewable energy companies I've seen. And over the last seven months, I've been able to get to know Daniel and what his company is doing on a level that normally I wouldn't have access to. Um, but I've been able to see behind the curtain and see all that they've created and what they've developed and these solutions that are being brought to the table for people all over the world. And I got to tell you, it's inspiring to me. And in this 21 questions, again, I've, I've already recorded these. So I, I know what you're about to hear and see. And I was shocked with all that I learned. I knew I was going to learn a lot. But even a lot of things that I thought that I understood about renewables got completely busted. Now, this is not an attack on fossil fuels or anyone that works in the gas industry. Not at all. In fact, I believe the two can live in harmony together. Um, I really do, especially after hearing these, these answers. But having practical solutions that are win-win-wins across the board is something that I love. And that doesn't and it doesn't matter what industry that that's in. It doesn't matter who I'm working with. I want to see win-win-wins. I never want to see people have their jobs displaced because of a new technology. But it's going to happen. Things are changing. The world's changing. And you know what? We've got to strap in because the change from fossil fuels to renewables and a lot of the other changes that are happening with technology, I don't believe that we're stopping it. So it's best that we get educated and become informed on these issues so that we actually know what we're talking about instead of just taking what we hear from a newspaper article or something we saw on the news. It's We need to learn from the experts. We need to learn from the people that have been in the industry providing solutions, seeing the problems and saying, okay, all right, well, that's not, that's not really that good. I don't know if I want to you know, be promoting that product, but I've got a solution to it. And Harvest Earth Limited is providing a lot of solutions to problems that I have spoken out about in the past. So this is going to be interesting. Um, it, this is much different than the last six or seven Unmasking Humanities I've done. But I also think that this is one of the most important because it really sheds light on a subject that most people think they know a lot about and they really don't. And Daniel does an amazing job of answering those questions. So thank you all for being here. You can find the World's Mayor Experience platform at joshuatbarglund.com. And on that platform, you'll find interactive books, movies, all kinds of different broadcasts, educational content, courses. Oh, my goodness. All kinds of stuff. It's a lot of fun. Go check it out. Thank you for being here. And without further ado, please welcome Mr. Daniel Georgie. And welcome back to Unmasking Humanity 21 Questions with Joshua T. Barglund. We have a very special guest today, Mr. Daniel Georgie from Harvest Earth Limited. And he's here to educate us on all that's new and renewables, but also here to dispel some myths and a lot of assumptions and a lot of other things that people like myself uh, many years ago might have been speaking out against. But getting to meet people like Daniel, true innovators, in this field of renewable energy, it's helped shape my mind because I've been able to see different perspectives or even some of the problems that I've been very outspoken on my broadcast about. Daniel and his organization are providing solutions, not just solutions to my issues with it, but really solutions for the world. Because the thing is, we've been blessed with a beautiful planet to live in with amazing people, with amazing experiences available for us all. And it's beautiful, but if we don't take care of this planet, we're not going to have anything here to enjoy. So I think this is really important to have an open mind in this broadcast, regardless of what you feel about, hey, I'm pro-gasoline and or I'm pro-fossil fuel or, hey, I'm pro-renewable. I think there's a, a way to meet each other in the middle here, and I believe that there's a solution. And what I've learned from Harvest Earth Limited over the last several months is that they are here to provide common sense and innovative solutions that are wins for everyone all over this planet. So without further ado, it is an absolute honor for me to introduce to you, Mr. Daniel Georgie. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Thank you so much, Joshua, for a good presentation. Of course, we are here to implement our 
renewable energy solution. We are not here to have uh, rivers and uh, uh, with uh, pro gasoline or something like that. Of course, uh, we are the future solution and we are born to be champions. Thank you so much. For that. Hmm, I love that. Before we get into the 21 questions, Daniel, I'd love to, I love to ask this question at the start of every broadcast because I believe it sets the most perfect tone for any broadcast or really anything that we do in life. And that's gratitude. So, Daniel, what are you grateful for today and why? We are here to, well, as I said, to implement our solution to, to uh, give to the people the right reason why they need to change from uh, traditional uh, fuels to to the renewable energy this one is our mission to uh, do the, the the best things for for this world all right are you ready for 21 questions of course all right let's go question one if harvest earth could give fossil fuels a run for their money what's the secret weapon that might make even oil barons sit up and take notice? Yes, thank you so much, good question. They need to think about them children. The, the fossil fuels uh, resource will be gone very soon, soon. And the advice for them, I think, in my opinion, could be the example of uh, oil barons from Emirates, which they invest in uh, another businesses before finish the money from oil businesses. I think this one is a good reason to know them. Very good. Next question. How does Harvest Earth's free energy systems program work and why should someone who loves their gas guzzling car be excited about it i think the government and the local authorities may help the people with uh, financial facility as grants or loans and they will recover the money from people uh, with taxes and excess of electricity because if the people will install the uh, renewable energy systems and the uh, national uh, plan will be excess of uh, electricity and this one will be good uh, good uh, impact for for economy and even uh, the fossil fuels funds need to think as uh, one uh, economic aspect very important the price the pricing of fossil fuels will be increased more and more every day every year because the re the resources will be down will be decreased and the price will be up and uh, they need to think about the uh, family budget. Very good. Thank you, Daniel. Number three, can you share an energy horror story that might convince even the most stubborn fossil fuel fan to consider Harvest Earth's alternative? Yes, uh, for this question, I think, unfortunately, is not uh, just horror it's th they are tragic mm. tragic stories because the the traditional uh, equipment could be dangerous and uh, kill the people mm. it's 
very easy to to be in fire. Uh, the renewable energy is 100% uh, safe, but the gas and gasoline and uh, petrol, everything could be any time in fire. And this one cost the lives. Wow. Okay. Next question. What's the most, wh what is the most unexpected use of renewable energy you've implemented that would impress a petroleum engineer? Yes, thank you for the question. <laughs> the, the happiest and positive reaction from uh, uh, our customers, also the, the petroleum engineers, because uh, these people, they have a good connection with uh, petroleum engineers and uh, they have a easy access to get the, the traditional uh, fuels. Also to implement our renewable energy system in one um, industrial plant in Uganda. Uh, as I said, they had uh, before uh, easy access to, to get uh, the petrol, but always they had a problem with uh, quantity and also the quality of electricity. Mm -hmm. After change the system with the renewable energy system everything come back to normal to uh, to good in good way where the the energy it is in perfectly standard and also more economic with uh, uh, about the budget very good thank you daniel Next question, how does Harvest Earth turn sunshine into a power cocktail that rivals the energy density of fossil fuels? Good question, thank you. Uh, our free energy systems, including uh, solar panels, inverters, battery storage, and then we can transform the uh, energy in heating, uh, cooling, uh, hot water. And also, I would like to say our range, including uh, the services implement to residential, commercial, and industrial uh, customers. Mm -hmm. uh, the energy from sun which is free coming uh, in solar panels and then in inverters could be used directly via inverters to the house uh, appliance or the industrial tools or something like that or, or will be stored in uh, battery storage for night time to 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 be enough for night time uh, all the process uh, need to all the process it is free is free the process and it's for forever it is with without stopping That's this amazing. one it's very important and now in our uh, products we came in the market with uh, new products which it is uh, solar panels uh, integrate with thermal panel it is two in one which means will produce the electricity and hot water in the same time in the same space <clears throat> I've actually I've seen pictures of that. that. That one's amazing. Yes. Yeah, that's very, very cool. I've never seen anything like that one. Thank you for that. All right, next question. This one's a little snarky, just letting you know. Uh to, to make a one uh sorry to, to interrupt. Oh, to make one uh, uh remark for for a number five, it is uh about the power challenge about the power challenge, need to think 
in the back when uh, we have a uh, oil engine yes yeah, yeah. Uh, more than 100 years ago and the power was not too much power in that time but was invented the, this uh, the uh, oil engine and in 100 year the evolution of technology give the 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 power for for engine and like that will be we our products in future thank you so much for that's a great addition thank you for adding that and and all by the way if any time you get another download or something you want to add you can interrupt me and just add it because this is important information because to me you're helping break down some of the misnomers and some of the misunderstandings that a lot of people have including myself about renewables and even what's possible so feel free to jump in anytime thank you all right you ready for my snarky question now of course <laughs> okay if you could challenge any historical oil tycoon to a renewable energy debate who would it be and why as i said before i think the the answer could be good for this question as well for any uh tycoon uh, of uh, oil i would like to say need to think about them children and uh, the good example is the the people the rich people for from uh, emirates which they change to invest uh, in uh, another businesses yeah with with uh, with money uh, came from uh, profit from businesses in oil i think this one it is even the changing will be not in our life but need to think about future need to think about our children yes agreed agreed thank you for that next question if harvest earth's renewable energy solutions were a superhero team what unique powers would each member bring to outmatch fossil fuels yes uh, uh, as i said uh, we are born to be champions yeah. and uh, Harvest that uh, superpower is that to have a good communication, uh, communication with customers, communication between team members, communication with uh, our suppliers and uh, manufacturers. Having uh, this mission to deliver the best services to our clients, to our customers. The second sector the superpower it is because our management strategy is to have a qualified and organized good organized team workers to be always ready for any project any challenge uh, to deliver the good standard uh, project mm -hmm. the, the the second uh, superpower it is as to we are able to customize any product any system uh in a concordance with uh, customers need with uh, any industrial plant with any uh challenge and uh, also we have uh, we are ready to to design because our concept is to design starting with design the project i mean uh to identify which system it's suitable for a uh, special uh, project and then to supply the the good products with came with warranty and everything uh, uh, for have a long lifespan the installation will be with qualified team also about the products we have a 
uh, our own brand products, but of course, depending of the project, we can deliver any another product. And in the end, we will maintain for long lifespan the system will maintain the products and the system uh, with uh, checking periodically the the uh, to be in in good range of uh, functionality that the system. This one it is another superpower of us. Thank you so much. Excellent. Next question. Can you debunk a common myth about renewable energy that might surprise our fossil fuel loving listeners? Wow, thank you, Joshua. For me, this one is a simple question. Uh, and I would like to say just in one sentence, a renewable energy, it's the only one solution to have energy in future. Renewable I energy. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to argue. Just on sentence. Renewable <laughs> energy is the only one solution to have energy in the future. Makes sense to me. Thank if you. Harvest Earth solar panels were in a drag race against a muscle car, how would they compete in terms of power input? Yes. Another good question. Thank you so much. Uh, specific for um, solar panels. Of course, solar panels, exactly what I said before, in time will be more efficient than, than today because the technology will increase the efficiency. In uh, any, any challenge, I think we are the champions because our resources are free and infinite and the efficiency for long distance for race will be uh, even will start slowly in the race after that our efficiency will be because we are infinite and uh, the another uh, another competitors we need to stop to put the fuels and we, they, they need to they need to buy the fuels for us it's free that actually makes a lot of sense well done okay what's the most creative way harvest earth has re repurposed old fossil fuel infrastructure for renewable energy use Thank you. Uh, in our portfolio, including uh, multiple renewable energy projects. You said multiplex, right? Yes. Okay. Keep going. I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, to coming to substitute the traditional infrastructure. But one of them, which I like, it is uh, to change the old infrastructure in one uh, hospital in Africa. The all old infrastructure was changed without stopping the activity. Uh, this one is one uh, important aspect of uh, our work. We can change without stopping the activity, without uh, moving the house without nothing, just change step by step. And uh, before, of course, they, they had uh, diesel generators for uh, electricity, for water, for uh, cooling. And after changing with renewable energy system, they have uh, enough electricity, they have a free water, they have a cooling, they have a ventilation, everything for free. Of course, maybe the people, they will ask, yes, but I need to buy the system. Of course, but also the traditional system 
its cost for traditional system. You need to you need to buy the generators. You need to maintain the the functionality. Everything is cost. And after that, you need to buy the fuels every day, every single day. For renewable energy, everything is free after that. That's a great answer. Actually, I really appreciate that perspective on it too. Thank you. Okay. Next question. How does Harvest Earth make renewable energy feel like a natural progression for those who have built their lives around traditional energy sources? So the sun, wind, and water, they are natural resources, which are free and infinite with uh, special equipment will generate a free energy versus traditional energy of course they will use the the equipment for traditional energy but exactly what i said they will buy every day the fuels and uh, from my experience the cost for maintenance for traditional uh, equipment it's high than renewable energy mm. in future just for maintenance thank you huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay it, next question if you could power a monster truck rally with Harvest Earth's technology, how would you do it? This one is uh, very interesting, and I like the question. <laughs> I, like. I had to make some fun ones too, you know. Yes, of course, <laughs> I like it very much because this one could be uh, part of our innovation in future. Uh, in one moment, in my opinion the future cars of course master truck or something like that doesn't matter the future cars will be with solar panels uh generate wind generator and self charging for batteries and will be like one powerful perpetuum mobile I use the Latin phrase now, which will be free and infinite energy for this car. But as I said before, and I don't want to repeat, uh, but uh, I think I uh, need to make this remark here. Uh, at the moment, we are in this step, but in fu next future, the new technology will increase the power for our products every day will increase the power exactly like in uh before for for uh oil engine mm. thank you so much for it. thank you i hope i answered to your question you did you answered thank you can you share a success story that would make even the biggest oil executive raise an eyebrow yes uh, uh, one of our biggest success for this year was to and it is actually to start the process of manufacturing uh, our own brand multifunction pump which will uh, generate the heating cooling ventilation and hot water and will be customized depending on customer needs mm -hmm. for commercial residential and industrial using and this one this uh, our success uh, as i said came when uh, in Europe next year, the old fossil fuels boilers will be banned, will be wow. 
stop. And I think it's uh, one of our success to, to be in market with new products, exactly the right product for to substitute the, the where next year will starting from 2025 to 2030 or 35 will be stop the fossil fuels boilers and need to change in whole Europe. And we are ready, we are ready to do with our sources, our products, our systems, everything from design, sell, install, and maintain the systems. That's excellent. That's excellent. Next question. How does Harvest or how does Harvest Earth's approach to renewable energy differ from the tree hugger stereotype that some fossil fuel enthusiasts might expect? Yes. Our concept is not just uh, environmentally friendly. Uh, we came here to have a social and economical impact. Uh, the most important thing is that every family budget will increase because after renewable energy system using every day, every year. And uh, why not to, with this money, which uh, will be in, uh, in uh, our family budget to spend for family joy instead to pay the bills. Mm. I like that. That's a good answer. Solutions for the family too, not just the environment. I love it. Exactly. <laughs> What's the most impressive energy makeover Harvest Earth has given to a formerly fossil fuel dependent business? Yes. Thank you for the question. Uh, was another great project, great success for us, uh, uh, the glorious project, because the owner, even the owner, uh, didn't believe in uh, results, good results after spectacular results. And the project was for uh, one farm, which was completely dependent of uh fossil fuels with uh, uh diesel generators for everything and after they discover what is the benefits for for that to have a, a non-stop energy clean energy to to no need to buy the fuels uh to have a water uh, because with uh, with electricity to to uh, get the, the water to have a ventilation to have a heating during the winter everything just with a renewable energy system that's interesting thank you thank you oh i like this question next question if harvest earth could eliminate one pain point of how traditional energy sources wait sorry let me start over. Apologize. If Harvest Earth could eliminate one pain point of how traditional energy sources, which would it be and how? Our concept uh, having the social, economical, and uh, environmental impact. But one of the most important painful point, which uh, I think make the difference between us between a renewable energy system and the uh, traditional system it's that uh, as uh, we can save save the lives we can save the lives because as i said in uh, tragical histories uh, the traditional systems would be dangerous for people. Our renewable energy systems are 100% safe. And they also, I, I, this question's not in here, but the technology that you've created, 
lasts longer, has a longer shelf life, so to speak, compared to other renewable projects, correct? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. All right. Next question. How does Harvest Earth's heat pump technology compare to traditional heating in terms of power and efficiency? So in this challenge, we are the winner in all categories <laughs> because uh, we have all the categories we are top uh, for powerful and efficiency the heat pumps the renewable energy heat head pumps came with five times more efficient than a uh, traditional one five times it's efficient. Then we have a comfort, the comfort. We have a, a smart comfort. We can uh, change the temperature from everywhere, but of course we can uh, adapt uh, any uh, another thermostat for a traditional one, but is not this efficiency, is not this uh, comfort the third one it's safe as i said we are champions for that as well in this category easy using and uh, easy to install i mean we can install these our uh, products in any location even it is in uh, small apartments which they don't have a space for and they use uh just electric one but uh, traditional electric radiators which are expensive cost uh, will be expensive our products came for next level excellent next question What's the most exciting technological advancement in Harvest Earth's pipeline that could rival the cool factor of offshore, offshore oil rigs? Yes, this one is a very good question. And uh, it's uh, regarding uh, for one of uh, my favorite mega project, which will be in the uh, early future. Uh, will be the hybrid power station. I mean hybrid power station, but including just renewable energy products. Hybrid because including connection with hydroelectric station with what from water, gen, uh, the electricity generate from water. The solar power plants, which uh, collect the energy from sun, it's natural, 100%. And uh, with wind farm, with uh, wind farm. Uh, this uh, mega structure will generate free and unstoppable energy. And this energy will be uh, guided to, to uh, smart village will be build one smart village where also we have a new project there to implement the smart meters. The people will pay with smart E the, the electricity and also all house will be with ventilation, cooling, uh, uh, heating, electricity from uh, from our uh, hybrid uh, power station and the electricity from hybrid power station will came to smart village with mini grid installation for uh, electricity transportation will be uh, our own mini grid not with the uh, national grid and this one it is 
completely new project, completely uh, innovation. Yeah. I'm really excited about this because I see the potential. I see how, you know, if enough of these get sold and get out on the market, the less expensive it will be. So then places like refugee camps that are all throughout Africa and the rest of, I mean, they're all over the world. There's refugee camps. And just imagining being able to have a power source like this, what Harvest Earth has, to be able to help the refugees. Because I interviewed, I think you saw it a couple of days ago, interviewed somebody that is at a refugee camp. Yes. And, but the, I think one of the misnomers people have is that they think that they're refugees, they're, they're you know, can't do anything or they don't want to do anything. What I learned was they're very active in, in their community and they're, they're, doing things still like they have limited resources but they're still being productive so they have a hunger so i'm seeing this as a solution like for even governments to come in and say hey we need to offer this solution to to the to them of and course yeah this is it, it even I, there's just so many possibilities here that is exciting to me about who it can help so i i just love what you're doing daniel absolutely uh, apart than that uh, uh again i i need to to make one remark Please. about rivers we are not in competition with anyone because this uh, concept could be installed everywhere everywhere no need to to came with uh, oil from uh, far away or something like that no need to have a, a long grid to transport the electricity from national grid to there because yeah. this one is one of the 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 biggest problem in the world uh, for example in uh, i work uh, a lot in african country and i know the situation uh, and uh, the the main problem it is the connection between electric sources to the house this one is and renewable energy could be installed close to the community could be installed close to the community and this one make the difference yeah that's inspiring to me i if anything alone i gotta i want to be honest like i still you know i'm not i i don't have enough background in renewables to have a really strong opinion one way or the other just being honest but what I am seeing are some very common sense, practical opportunities here that it makes no sense to ignore. And I'm seeing solutions where solutions are not being provided. One of the biggest problems that Africa has that I'm aware of is infrastructure. Exactly. This and one. this is so like in Africa alone, this is ideal. But we have infrastructure problems in the United States too. It's not like, and we're, you know, I mean, we we're so far ahead of many countries in a lot of things. I mean, or at least we've had access to things that a lot of other countries don't have. And yet we still have infrastructure issues. So this is what's becoming clear to me is how practical this really is. It's not, yes, you know, having things by our governments forced down our throat is never anything that I want to be a part of. However, when I hear a practical solution to something, then I'm like, well, why would I not want this? <laughs> like, why? I don't need a gas car that bad. I don't care. Um, what I want is to see solutions for our fellow man. And right now, Harvest Earth is providing those solutions, and that's very exciting to me. All right, ready for? Go ahead. <laughs> About the uh, infra infrastructure, uh, of course we came with renewable energy products and it's helpful not just for people which will be essential for for uh, to have uh, uh, electricity and uh, the for community which they don't have this infrastructure but also for communities with infrastructure why because in time the infra infrastructure will be old will yeah. be and step by step need to maintain 
this one is the another cost another cost and for for industrial infrastructure the cost it's huge yeah and when we came and when we'll build the power station for every community this one came with one big social impact exciting i love solutions for social impact for sure all right question 20. how does harvest earth balance the need for powerful energy solutions with environmental concerns in a way that appeals to both green enthusiasts and industry veterans we are always flexible and able to offer the right solution for any situation and for all type of customers in that case we can mix the renewable energy with traditional uh, energy traditional uh, fuels energy this one is one big advantage for uh, uh, our uh, sources uh, because we can install for example i will uh, we can install just solar panels first. Even they used to have a, a gas boiler. And in time, of course, when the customers will see the difference of the payments for bills, mm -hmm. they will decide next year to change the boilers as well because they will see the difference. And uh, another uh, good point for us, it is, as I said before, we can install any part of the, the system without interruption of activity, without moving the people from house. Mm. Everything will be changed in normal uh, routine without stopping, without interrupting the activity. And after that, they will complete the transition from traditional to renewable energy, because this one will be, it is our advantage, because with our product and our flexibility, we will make them to have a, good decision to moving uh, to move to to renewable energy because as i said in my special question mm -hmm. uh, we have just only one solution renewable energy in future very good last question wow yeah we are in the last question if harvest earth were competing in an energy Olympics, what events would it dominate in and how would it outperform fossil fuels? We are born to be champions. And uh, <laughs> of course, if I, I, I don't like to be in competition with them, but then need to understand we are the champions and in any competition our efficiency mm -hmm. we are the first the comfort we are the first the safety we are the first the long life span for all products we are the first free energy we no need to to pay any bills of course maybe the people said of course but we need to pay the the maintenance yes but you need to pay the maintenance of course for uh, traditional products as well yeah. not just for this one so it's free energy and never ending never ending without stopping because it's just natural from our god 
Mm -hmm. I love that. Daniel, that was 21 questions. Thank you so much for all of your insight. I've, I learned a ton I'm, and I know the audience has as well. I would love to give you the opportunity to have the last word where you can say whatever's on your heart to share, but also please let people know that are, you know, whether they're interested in investing in Harvest Earth Limited or they're wanting to be a partner or they're just wanting to buy um the renewable energy products that you're creating for the world please plug everything you want to plug and have the last word thank you thank you so much joshua thank you for this opportunity yes uh, i in the end of this 21 question i have uh, the one uh, as uh, my special uh, question uh, it is my special answer for this question which it is uh, we need to think about our future even will be not in our life we need to think about our children and because we have just one only option in future will be just renewable energy because the old and traditional fuels will be gone and need to think just for renewable energy. As I said, we are open for any collaboration uh, also because uh, renewable energy is new in the market and uh, we need to run uh, in, in this uh, planet with everything, with uh, uh, global warming, with uh, everything. We need to challenge with uh, all the routine. And we are open to collaborate in any way uh, to develop our program about uh, selling the products, to install the products, to design the systems, to maintain the systems after that. Uh, also to be partners in any renewable energy activity. We are uh, with uh, zero emission. Our products came just pure renewable energy without any emission, zero emission. And we are open for any collaboration, uh, even it is about uh, selling, about uh, partnership, about uh, installing the renewable energy plants, industrial one, any project, any size, and uh, of course, in any country. I think uh, I answer to all of your question and uh, I wait for uh, our uh, new mega project to be done to present to our audience thank you so much josh thank you give everyone the website really quick please the website uh, our website it is uh, www.harvesterth.co.uk at the moment Daniel, thank you so much for all of your time. Thank you for all of your answers. Um, I'm really excited about what Harvest Earth Limited is doing, not just um, for people and our children, but also our planet. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much, Joshua. I really appreciate it. Thank you.